Here we are at the patio at the Hilton Westchester. We're doing some grilling demonstration how do you can grill at home. Um, today we have some pork chops from our friend from the farm, Sir Williams, upstate New York. We're going to do uh, some rubbing into our pork chops. Here in the spice rub, we have some paprika, sugar, salt, pepper, coriander, uh, and cumin. It's being toasted and ground. You want to make sure that you put enough into each shot. That way you can maximize your flavor. Want to rub it and make sure you have enough spice all over. And then we're going straight to the grill. Um, our grill is, is preheated with some uh, wood burning charcoal, um, oak in specific. This part over here is about 600, this part over here is about 400, 500 degrees. So we're going to start in the direct heat. A chop like that size, about 8 ounce, uh, will cook approximately between 12 to 15 minutes. the pork chops on the grill cooking, we're going to do a, a refreshed uh, salad that goes very well with the season and the temperature. We have some cucumbers that are being diced up. We're going to cut some uh, heirloom cherry tomatoes. How to choose and pick uh, tomatoes while they're right into the season. Uh, once you choose them and pick them from your uh, convenience store or fr uh, farmer's market, you want to make sure that you don't refrigerate them after you purchase them from your house. Uh, it's very important that they remain into room temperature and that way all the juices and the ripeness continues at your house. Uh, we're going to add some uh, chives, some extra virgin olive oil. some salt. And we're going to go and check on our pork chops. As you can see, you have the charts in both sides. They've been cooking for about 10 minutes now. Um, keep in mind, but when you cook it on the grill, it's such a hot temperature and direct heat that you want to make sure that you allow the meat to rest. Uh, that's the most important part, and that way you can keep all the juices inside your chop or your cut, whatever you are grilling. Um, you want to make sure that you put it into the side that we left without any charcoals, and let it rest at least five minutes before you start cutting. You could use either vinegar, or you can use, uh, in this case we're going to use lemon. So make sure you remove all the seeds. That way it doesn't go into your salad. Squeeze the lemon. Right now our uh, salad is done. We're going to go and check into our pork chop. They're being resting for a few minutes already. So pork chops can be served any temperature as uh, any uh, cut of ribeye or near strip. I recommend them eat them between medium to medium well. Some people like them medium, and some other people like them even medium rare. Um, so, this pork chop is being resting for a few minutes now. So this pork chop is about medium, medium well right now. You can see the juiciness is still uh, absolutely perfectly cooked. We're going to put that into a plate. 
And I like to keep the cucumber and tomato salad cold. Serve it right on top. That way you have two temperature items into your dish, which are going well with the season and the temperature. And we're gonna garnish it with some cilantro. Okay, there it is. Pork chop and cucumber tomato salad. Thank you.